Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, that's me. I'm here today to show you how to give students feedback in Google Classroom and the web in classroom.google.com, but also in the mobile app. Remember, there's a mobile app. I have it here on my Chromebook, but a lot of teachers use their iPad with the mobile app. So here we are, side by side, I got the web and an assignment, and I got the mobile app. So let's do the web first. And so let's go into Tom Mullaney's assignment right here. It opens up a new tab and it brings up the document. And I can see here what my student did. And I can use comments right here inside of the Google Docs editor, which is kind of embedded in the classroom feedback screen. Right? And the other thing, so I put a rubric here and I've actually started doing the rubric and I can add private text comments here as I might do. So that's what it looks like in the web. When we go to the mobile, it's very different. So here I get it. And there's, there's the attachment. When I click on the attachment, look what happens. I don't get the Google Docs editor. Instead, I get a PDF. And in, at first glance, I can't do anything with this. Now I could pop it out in Drive, but it's going to use the mobile app of Google Drive. I don't want to worry about that. Instead, I have a pencil. And with this editing pencil now, I have all, you may recognize this from Google Keep, but I have these different tools where I can annotate and whatnot on it. I can even put text comments in there. So there's a text comment. Once I'm done marking it up and annotating it, I then click the Save button. And now what it does is it hasn't changed the Google Doc at all, and it hasn't put any comments in there. It just adds a PDF with those annotations. And if I actually open this up again, I could do a second one. It won't build on this first one. I could do a second one. I can also leave text comments here. That's not that great because it's a little hard to you know remember and then type my text. So you may want to do it just in the PDF that you generate. But as you can tell, these are two very different, as I put them side by side, very different ways to give students feedback. So just remember, if you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.